Hello, guys. Welcome back to another Lost Hyperspace uh, Vision Volume 2, Episode 2, Scratcher, Scratcher Reach. Um, episode, and I gotta say one thing in this episode before we begin is this was a very dark and sad episode. Um, but yeah, let me read you. Uh, thing they put on there a young a young girl out of out a young girl out in an adventure with her friends discovers a legit a legendary cave with a dark pool uh, and joining me to talk about this episode is your co-host Matthew Manchester right to watch everyone Matthew what did you think of this vision episode <laughs> hmm. You guys should really go check out these. Yeah, it gave me some. It gave. It gave me some. You know, I was like, think, think, think. Yeah. <laughs> it was the very first scene mm -hmm. at the factory kind yeah. of thing. I was down. I was like, is that prison? I wasn't exactly yeah, was sure like what that was. It was like, a, it it was like the me, home of some. It kind of reminded me of. It reminded me of the prison that that Andor was sent to. Mm, yeah, it, to make I, those pieces like yeah, it looked like to they make were, the Death Star. Mm -hmm. It looked like the were yeah, it looked like there were kids who were being enslaved or something like that, and they got free or ran away or something or discover decided to discover around the place. But yeah, definitely they look like that. But it was it was also showing the days how they, how they were working there, and also yeah, so the girl falls in. They fall into the cave, right? They end up in the cave. I think they walked into the cave. Yeah. And yeah. then they, they um, well, the girl went, was going ahead and they were trying to catch, catch up. Yeah. And then finally at some point they were, no. when they meet this, they then have this thing of go back, go back. Yeah. They end up catch up with you end later. Up, yeah. She ended up staying behind. And somehow this creature has been following her, and she was saying it's all in my mind. Dala, I think her name was Dala, and she was all she was the only character who got a name of, and uh, she was all saying it's all in my mind and all of that. And then eventually, a uh, creature came out and then started attacking her, and finally pulls out a uh a, a red lightsaber. And that's when we see that was that that mm -hmm. gave me some like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, I think, think it was it was also kind of a little dark and creepy, you know. I enjoy a lot of the visions episode, but sometimes they can make it pretty dark and creepy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, this was an a good goodish episode. I wouldn't say great, but I would say good. Um, but yeah, at the end of it. At the end of it, as we know, she ends up uh, the Jedi Master who, for some reason, we kn we didn't know she met the Jedi Master, uh, a Master. I, I, didn't, I don't know if it was a Jedi Master or not, but she ended up leaving her uh, friends. friends and family behind. And I just thought, what is this? What is this story? I... Yeah, it kind of gave I, I, I you had mixed some, feelings about it, you know. Did you have some thoughts about it's kind of like the you were like in Bad Batch, you were like, enough a mission yeah. episode. No, but this and then one here is like it's kind of you had uh, like mm -hmm. only one episode, like, yeah, but this one felt more, um, I don't know, a little disturbing, and also it felt. Since we don't know if that person was a Sith or a dark side user or whoever that woman was who came to pick her up, she suddenly said, it's her choice, you no know, looking back. And I just felt like she should have considered, like, oh, if my friends can't go, I can't go either, you know? Again, Jedi's, Jedi's they come as often and take kids from their families as their young kids, you know, all that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not this. It's not exactly the same, but it's again. It's kind of to me. It's very strange that all that happened very fast like that, and uh, 
I just didn't. Yeah, I was because especially one of the things that was like like I was cause thinking is there's a Jedi because because it would be kind of like fake going into that into that cave would be kind of like the whole going facing the dark side because of the red blade. Yeah. But then when they were like, this is yours now. Right. Which was like, now you have a red blade. Yeah. And I was well, like, Well, eventually mm -hmm. it would change colors as she goes through the story, maybe. I don't know. I didn't appreciate this episode so much. Um, but I did like the mm -hmm. first episode and uh, the third episode, which we're going to get to uh, right now, all the visions episode, because this is what we did in our, when we first started the Lost Hyperspace. <laughs> we literally went through all the visions episode and break them down. There were some that we enjoyed. There were some we did not enjoy. And definitely I put this one, like the final episode where the master died and then the, the girl turns into the dark side, you know. You know, well, I thought it was the girl that. Wait, no, the funny one. Master died to see. Yeah, the master yeah. turned to the dark side yeah, to, to save see. the girl. Yeah, this one like literally that. felt more like, more like kind of that episode with the whole music and stuff. I just like, yeah, I'm not sure if I enjoyed this episode a lot. So yeah, you know. the, it kind of like for me, I didn't like that episode. This one. But I always appreciate the different. I like it better. Yeah, it but I always better, appreciate like an improvement. Yeah. Right, right. I always appreciate different take on Star Wars. Though that's one. That's one of the things I enjoyed about Star Wars is they expand, they expand, expand it. Like Ando, Ando took, Ando took, uh, Star Wars where we've never gone before, and I enjoy that. Like Visions is also taking that leap. A faith into Star Wars that in places that we've never seen before, and I think that's why Visions is such an incredible story, and that's why they keep doing more of these. And I love it, you know. I love the mm -hmm. how they're expanding the world of Star Wars. So, how did you feel about the type of animation? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. it I actually feel like if I get more Star Wars with that type of animation, I would love to see more of that. Like, I love it. I love the first animation, definitely. Definitely the first episode animation, and that was great. The second one, I feel like they should actually create a new Star Wars with that type of animation. Yeah, yeah kind of enjoyed. things, if you see, like, in the comic books, mm -hmm. in the Star Wars comic books, it kind of yeah. feels like that kind of animation. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm hmm well, guys, thank you for joining us in our Vision episode. As always, stay and hit that follow button as more episodes will come up pretty soon. And we love we love talking about Star Wars. We love talking about anything Star Wars, pretty much. So, guys, stay tuned, and mm -hmm. we'll catch you guys as we go through Star Wars. As always, may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. Always. Always.